Hey, this is James Stafford and I'm back with another video. This time we're going to discuss the importance of blogging and why this is one of the best ways to grow your business online. Plus, I'm going to explain the difference between a blog and a website since this is something that often confuses a lot of people who are just starting out online. Now, although they seem very similar, blogs and websites actually work in completely different ways. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some key differences between a blog and a website. Plus, I'll take you through three very easy steps to get your blog up and running in a snap. Finally, I'm going to share with you some best practices to ensure your blog gets good rankings in the search engines and keeps people engaged. Now, you may have heard some of the big name marketers out there speaking about the importance of having a blog. However, for those people who are totally new online, it can be confusing. Should you have a blog or should you have a website or do you need both? Let's clear the confusion. Now, if you're just starting out online, you may have well heard marketing experts stress the need for having a blog. Almost every single big marketer out there is pushing the importance of blogging for growing your business online. That's because blogging allows you to connect with your audience and engage them on a deeper level in a way that a website never can. In fact, if you don't have a blog, you're going to find it very hard to build your brand and presence online. This is because a website consists mostly of static pages, which means that once your content has been added to the website, it more or less stays the same. A blog, on the other hand, has content which is updated on a regular basis. This is a big advantage in that it allows you to keep your content fresh and relevant, therefore giving visitors a reason to return. Another big difference between a blog and a website is that a blog enables your audience to comment on your posts, which a website doesn't allow because of its static nature. Being able to engage with your audience and have a dialogue with them is a great way for you to build a relationship with your community and understand what their wants and needs are. One of the big advantages of blogs compared to websites is that search engines such as Google really love them. You see, Google works to deliver the most relevant content to people who are searching for things on its network. Therefore, Google will boost your content from sites which are fresh, relevant, and most of all, engaging. This is where having a blog is a major advantage because you can create fresh content which is relevant to the needs of your audience. And every piece of content you publish on a blog will have tags and keywords associated with it which works towards getting you better and better results in the search engines like Google. In fact, not only does Google rank and give importance to sites that deliver good content, but Facebook has also changed the way it works to promote posts which are content focused. So, while your website is great for telling about your company, your products and services, it serves more as an online brochure that talks about you, your products and services. A blog is different because you are focusing on your customer. The content you publish should be geared towards the needs of your specific target audience. In other words, you are publishing content which is helpful and educates your audience about their problems and their needs. For example, if you sell skincare products, your blog would be focused on solving problems for your audience. So some of the content you might publish would give you tips on looking after your skin and would answer specific concerns about the health of your skin. Done properly, your blog can position you as an authority in your industry where your audience come to you for solutions and will trust you enough to buy your products and services. The single biggest advantage of a blog over a website is that it allows you to connect directly one-on-one -on -one with your customers, prospects, and stakeholders, encourage conversation, engagement, and build trust. And that's why I love blogs. So now you know why blogs are essential in helping you to grow your business online. How exactly do you get started? One of the best ways to get started with your blog online is to use something called WordPress. WordPress is a simple website building tool which allows you to have your own website or blog up and running in less than the time it takes to make and drink a cup of coffee. If this sounds confusing, don't be. WordPress was originally designed for the purpose of blogging. However, it is so versatile that it can be modified and used as a website or a blog. WordPress is super easy to use and is the perfect tool for you even if you're completely allergic to technology. If you can send an email, you can use WordPress. Plus, you can fully control how your blog looks and feels. So updating it is really simple. In fact, it's so simple that you would never need to hire someone to set up your blog for you. And I'll show you how to do it yourself in just a moment. So in the next few minutes, I promise you, you're going to learn the fastest and easiest way possible to set up your blog and have it published 
on the internet in just 10 minutes without any technical skills. And the best part is, is that it's going to cost you almost nothing. As a specialist in building blogs and websites using WordPress, I've helped thousands of people who knew nothing about the internet or how to get started online, get up and running quickly, and start making money from it. It's the perfect place to start if you've always wanted to have an online business but didn't know how. All you need to do is follow along with me. This tutorial is perfect for you if you're a complete beginner and you want to learn how to get started blogging without any previous technical knowledge. And all it takes is just three simple steps. Step one is picking out and registering your website address, which is also known as your domain name. Step two is setting up your blog with WordPress. And step three is getting your blog published online so it can immediately be viewed by visitors on the internet. By the end of this little video, you'll have your first ever blog up and running in less than 10 minutes. So are you ready? Let's get started with step one, which is choosing and registering your domain name. Your domain name is the name of your blog or website address. For example, mine is websitesmadeeasy.tv. Once you have your domain name, you're going to need a hosting service so your blog basically has somewhere to live on the internet. Hosting is crucial to getting started online and is no different to you moving into a new home and letting people know where your home is so when they search for you, they know exactly where to find you. So don't be scared by the idea of setting this up. As long as you follow along with me, you'll find it really easy to do. Hosting costs around 10 bucks a month. I really want to help you get started for virtually nothing, so I'll give you a little coupon code that will save you some money. Okay, so as I said before, the hosting is really easy to set up, and to do that, we're going to head over to HostGator.com. Now, there's lots of different services out there, but I've always gone with HostGator because their customer service is outstanding. They're available 24-7 to deal with any issues or problems or to answer any questions. Plus, I've been using these guys going on seven years now without any real issues with my sites. Okay, so what you want to do now is click on Get Started Now in the middle of the page. Then select Choose a Plan and then select the Hatchling Plan if you only want one blog. But if you're planning on having multiple blogs or websites, then I recommend you go with the Baby Plan as this will give you unlimited domains. So from the drop down, select Monthly if you don't want to get locked into anything and then click on Order now, you want to register a new domain name. Now, hopefully you've really thought about this and picked a good domain name. If the name you want is not available, keep drilling down and using different URL extensions such as .com, .net, or .org, even playing around with the actual name. For example, my website, websitesmadeeasy.tv, I selected the .tv as it's primarily a tutorial-based website, so I thought that was appropriate. Once you've got the right one, add to cart, you can go ahead and review your order, and if you're happy with it, simply enter in your payment details. Now, one thing you'll notice when you review your order is that it will have added on a lot of additional extras, which you don't need. So you can just uncheck the boxes under hosting add-ons, as these are all going to cost extra. In the coupon code box, enter WordPress Hero and validate it and will bring the cost of your domain name right down. Go through the rest of the process, just follow the instructions and I'll see you back in a moment. Okay, I'm back and I've confirmed my order and I'm now on the thank you page. Awesome, you've successfully completed step one in our three step process of setting up your blog and hopefully the first step will have been a piece of cake for you. Thanks James. Hi everyone, I'm Theo. I'll be taking you through the rest of this tutorial step by step. Okay, so on to the next step now, which is installing your actual website onto your domain name. Again, the whole process is very simple, you just need to follow along with me and you'll have this installed in a snap. You should have received a welcome email with your website information straight into your inbox. If it doesn't arrive, check your spam box. If it's still not there, give it some time. It should arrive within about 10-20 to 20 minutes or sooner. You're going to need this email to help set up your new website. So go ahead and find that email and open it up. I want you to pay attention to the information inside. In particular, have a look at your username, which is what you'll have selected during purchase. You'll also need to make a note of your password. I suggest you copy your password and then click on the cPanel link here. It's easier if you right click and open this up in a new tab. OK, so now you want to enter your login details from the email you received. Once you've logged into your cPanel, you'll see a page which is full of different icons and it can seem a little scary and overwhelming. Don't be scared, it's actually really straightforward and to be honest, you're not really going to need to know 
what all of these are until you get a lot more advanced. So don't worry. Right now all you need to do is scroll down towards the bottom where you'll see a section called Software Services. You're looking for the quick install icon. Go ahead and click that. Once you click this, look at the bar on the left and find WordPress. It's under the section Blog Software. You want to click this and then click on Continue. Now you'll come up with a form asking for some simple information. You'll need to add in a really good email address where you can receive incoming emails. You also need a good website title and fill out the name of the person who will be maintaining the site. It could be your name or whoever is looking after your site for you. Also add in your name and then click on install now. Wait a few moments as your new WordPress site installs and as soon as this is done it will give you the details for your new site here. All you do is copy the password as this will be your password for your new site. Ok so now you want to click this link here which will take you to the login page or the dashboard for your new WordPress blog. When you click on the link you're most likely going to hit an error and it will tell you the site isn't available. Don't panic because this is absolutely normal. All it means is your new blog will take a few hours to fully replicate to the servers. So I'll be back as soon as that is done. Ok I'm back and just to remind you that you should have received an email with your login details for your new website. Go ahead and click on the link to the dashboard or login page which will end with a forward slash wp dash admin. Right click on the link and open it up in a new tab. Then all you need to do is add your login details and voila you're in. Ok so this brings us to the end of step 2 which is setting up your WordPress blog. Hopefully the process was straightforward and painless and not at all scary. This is one of the primary reasons I developed these video tutorials to show you that building your very own WordPress blog really isn't hard when you follow along step by step. We will have step 3 to get through but if you're liking this video so far then I've got lots more tutorials available at websitesmadeeasy.tv and again each video is designed to break complicated concepts down into really easy step by step tutorials so they're perfect for you no matter what level you're at. Ok on to step 3 which is getting our website live and ready to go. You should now be inside the dashboard or the admin area of your WordPress blog. This is where you'll be able to add in your content, set up your pages, control layouts and themes and just about everything else you need to build out your site. So if I go to the top left hand corner and click on the name of the website you'll see exactly what your website looks like live online right now. It's nothing fancy but you'll be able to change all of this and that's what this third step is all about. We're going to get this looking more like a proper professional blog. So if we go back into the dashboard and I'm going to walk you through how to set up your site so it's geared towards making you money. Setting up your website the right way will help you get good quality traffic to your content and you'll also learn some really easy ways to optimize your site so it ranks better in Google. We basically want to build a blog that is going to attract the right people to it and this is going to mean getting rid of things we don't really need and clearing any existing defaults. Let's get started. Go to the posts on the left hand side then select all posts. Check this box here where it says hello and trash it. Next go to pages then all pages and you can trash the sample page as well. Ok go back to posts and then categories and we're going to set up a default category. So go over and enter the main service product your business provides and again in the permalink slug this will help organize the functionality of the site and give a nice clean layout for how the content is organized. Of course you can do some really fancy stuff later on with your site such as change the colors and layout etc and you can learn more about this over at websites.tv but for now this is going to give you a basic understanding of how to get this right. Ok now here comes the best bit we're actually going to give your blog a new look so go to appearance on the left hand side then select themes. Because you want your blog to be super easy to use and geared towards making you money the theme we select needs to be appropriate. We're going to be using a theme called Omega which is perfect if you're just starting out. So go over here on the tabs, select install themes and in the search box let's do a search for Omega. 
You can always change this later on, but this is a good one to start with. OK, all you do is click on Install Now, and then select Activate, and that's it. Right click on the domain name here, and open in a new tab to see what it looks like, and you can see for yourself, your website will look completely different. It's so easy even a child could do this, and you really don't need to do anything technical at all. This is also one of the reasons why WordPress is one of the easiest platforms out there for blogs and websites, because it's really simple when you know what to do. You can do all sorts of exciting stuff, like add in different media, play around with content, include social share buttons, and so on. If you want to learn how to do this, then be sure to check out my other video tutorials by going to websitesmadeeasy.tv and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button on this video too to make sure you see all of my future videos. Ok, once that's done, we can now start changing the functionality of your site by using something called plugins. Now don't get scared by the term, plugins are basically little snippets of code which enhance the functionality of your site and make your blog really powerful. And you don't need any development skills to be able to install them or use them. So we're going to add in four plugins that I think every WordPress blog should have to get more visibility in the search engines and bring more visitors to your site. Let's go over to plugins and then add new. Our first plugin is going to be WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast, search engine optimization. A nifty little plugin which will help visitors find you more easily in Google. So go ahead and type it in and click search plugins. Click the install now link, then click on the activate plugin and it will appear in the left hand menu here. So go to Yoast and then under general settings it will give you the option to have a tour and watch how to set this up properly if you get stuck. But I'll show you how to set this up here. There is a tracking option, leave that unchecked. Then there is a security option to disable the advanced part of the WordPress SEO meta box. You want to leave this checked. Now go to the Titles and Metas section under WordPress SEO, which has several tabs in it. Clicking on it will land you on the General tab. Head over to the Other tab. Check the Meta Keywords checkbox. Next we'll look at the title for our homepage. For your homepage create a static title, description and keywords. By default the template variables in the title field work fine for most sites, but you can fill this in with whatever is relevant to you. You also need to enter your blog's description. When you've finished, click on the Save Settings button. Under Post Types, simply set titles and meta descriptions for posts, pages, media, and other custom post types. You'll need to change the title templates where you only keep the actual title element and remove the site name. This plugin also adds an SEO meta box in your post edit area. So make sure you manually enter title and descriptions for each post, or Yoast will fill this in for you. You can pretty much ignore everything else and hit save and you're done. How easy was that? Ok, let's move on to the next plugin. Go back to plugins and add new plugin. Then search for Yoast Google Analytics. This plugin is pretty neat because it allows you to track exactly how many people have come to your blog, where they come from, and what their browsing behaviour is like, which is very useful when trying to understand which kinds of content is most preferred by your audience. It's an easy way to understand how people behave when they come to your blog. Ok, so you want to install this plugin by clicking on Install Now. A pop-up will appear, and all you do is hit OK. Then you click on Activate Plugin. Next, you will probably notice the messages at the top of your screen. Click the link to set up the basics. You're going to need to log into your Google account, so please do that now if you haven't done so already, and you need to set up your analytics account on your Google account, which only takes a minute to do, and I'm going to walk you through every step. Being able to use Google Analytics to gauge your audience is so powerful. It means you can find out which pages and links your visitors click the most, find out how they visit your website, whether it's on their smartphone or computer, you've got visitor segmentation, which tells you the age range of your visitors, whether they are male or female, so you're able to fine tune your website to match the wants and needs of your market. Best of all, it's completely free. So now, head over to google.com forward slash analytics, 
and once there, click on Access Google Analytics at the top here. If it says Sign In or Create an Account, then click on Sign In if you already have a Google account, or Create Account if you need to create a Google account. Now Google takes you through a few steps to setting up Google Analytics on your account. So click on Sign Up. Now all you do is fill in this information, account name, website name, website URL, choose the industry your website is in, and your time zone. All of these are important to get right, so analytics can give you the most accurate information for your visitors. You can leave these checked and click on Get Tracking ID. Accept the terms of service and you're done. This screen might look confusing, but don't worry, we're just here for the tracking ID, which is here. So copy that. Google Analytics is an awesome tool and very in-depth. It's too large for the scope of this video, but if you'd like to learn more, head over to websitesmadeeasy.tv. Back in WordPress, we're going to enter our tracking ID into our Yoast Analytics plugin by clicking on manually enter your UA code, pasting it, then pressing enter, and you're done. Google Analytics is now linked with your plugin. It may take 24 hours for everything to start working properly and for you to start receiving data for your visitors, so don't worry, this is completely normal. Once you've done that, you want to check the boxes marked Track Outbound Click and Download. And you also want to check the box which allows tracking of anonymous data. What this does is send data back to Yoast to help them improve the plugin and your user experience. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe and won't affect your site in any way, nor will it allow Yoast to access your site in case you're worried. So now all you need to do is save your changes to finish the installation of Google Analytics by Yoast. Okay, on to our next plugin, which is called WP Socializer. So we're going to go back to the plugins menu in our dashboard, and we're going to search for WP Socializer here. This is a brilliant plugin for sharing your content with whoever you want to using the sharing options for different social media. So basically people can like, tweet, pin, etc. your content through social sharing buttons. Put it this way, if you don't have this plugin, you may as well be invisible, and you'll find that it's much harder to gain any kind of visibility without having a social media presence. So hopefully you now understand how important this actually is. So go ahead and install that. Activate the plugin. Then to set it up, you'll see the icon here. You can set this up however you want, and you'll find some good tutorials here that will walk you through the process. Our last plugin is Sumo Me List Builder. This fantastic plugin helps you capture visitors to your blog through a pop-up light box which makes sure they subscribe to your email list and come back for more. Basically, this plugin detects the exact moment when a visitor is about to leave and immediately displays a pop-up asking for the visitor's email address. This is one last opportunity to grab someone's attention and keep them engaged on your site. List Builder is incredible and ever since I started using this simple plugin, I've doubled my email opt-ins as a result. The pop-up shows up and someone sees the piece of value and they think, why not just put in my email address? Something so simple for something valuable that is going to benefit me so much. Why not? It's a win-win. So to get started, we need to add this plugin in a slightly different way than normal. Simply go to http colon forward slash forward slash sumo me dot com forward slash wordpress and it will take you to a page which will give you step by step instructions of how to install this plugin on your blog. So go ahead and follow the on screen instructions to complete setup. Once that's installed it's going to appear in the menu on the left in your wordpress dashboard under sumo me. For this particular plugin you're going to need to register an account with sumo me. So in a new tab, open your website. Towards the top right of your website, look for a dark blue rectangle. Hover over the rectangle and a crown will appear. Click on the crown, then select sign up. Carefully enter your email and password. Next, select submit. And next, click sumo store. And find list builder. Now click on free to install it onto your site. Now click on List Builder and you'll see a navigation panel on the left hand side. 
go to services and it will pull up a list of email service providers so you can link your blog straight to your email service provider. No problem if you don't have an email provider, just go over to MailChimp. It's a free email service provider where you use your visitors email information you got from the list builder, plug it into MailChimp and you now have email marketing, easy and for free. Simply find your provider and link it up. You can modify the design by playing around with the setting in the design section. It's pretty easy and straightforward and very intuitive. And so that's it for the plugins. We're now at the end of step three and you should have a very basic blog that's taken you just a few minutes to put together. Not only have you saved money on costly developers, but you've done it without any technical knowledge whatsoever. Now we've done that, I want to share with you some quick tips to ensure that your content is as engaging as possible and works to help build your business. So one of the key things you need to understand is that your blog should be an extension of your business and should inform and educate your prospects about the things they are most concerned about. So if you sell skincare products, your blog post should cover tips and help on all aspects of skincare. So I've got a few quick tips that are really going to help you provide awesome content. Firstly, find similar blogs in your industry which are doing really well to get some ideas on how to structure your content. In general, posts which cover step-by-step -step how to's or listicles do really well. Listicles consist of a list of items such as five ways to prevent spots or seven ways to cleanse your skin always do really well. A super sneaky trick is to ensure that your infographics or videos are part way down the page so people can see them but would need to scroll down to see the whole thing. This will do two main things. Firstly, it tells Google that this content is intriguing because people are having to scroll to see it. Secondly, it makes people stay on your page longer which tells Google that people like reading what you have to offer. All of these things will add weight to your page and get you better search engine rankings. It's really easy to add new content to your blog. Let me show you how to create a new post. On the dashboard, go to posts and then add new. In these areas, you add the content you want to post to your blog, so a title, and here you can add anything such as a description and different kinds of media such as photos and videos. To add an image to your blog with a description and title, Add the title here, description here, and for the image, go down to Featured Image, and all you do is choose the image you want to use and upload it. Easy. To add a video is also very easy. All you need to do is grab this code from the video, and on your post, go to Text, and paste this code here. You can add a description above this, and remember to add a title. Go down to Featured Image, so people know what the video is going to be about. And now publish, and you can see your brand new posts on your blog. How easy was that? When you add a new post to your blog, it updates over the other one. The latest post will be on top for your viewers to see, so you can always update your blog and add fresh new content. This is the value of a blog. It's super easy to add fresh content and do it wherever you want, just on the fly. You just add in your content and boom, it's updated. You can constantly add content to your blog and it's always evolving, as opposed to a static website. Most blogs have a contact form that offer a free subscription to their newsletter. We don't want that. We want to provide something of significant value that will solve a specific problem or need for our audience, which is called a lead magnet. We do this by providing something specific for free in exchange for an email address. This way we're solving a specific need that will ultimately help solve a specific problem. It's a win-win. This way we can stay in consistent touch with our subscribers and start a conversation and build trust with them. It takes on average seven to 12 touches for someone to make a decision to trust you or buy something from you. Third, keep your topics highly relevant to your audience and focus on providing solutions to their problems. So if we take the skincare site example again, if you have people who are concerned about keeping their skin spot free, you'll share tips on how to do this. And in some of your posts, you can recommend some of the products you sell. This will not only help educate your audience, but over time, your audience will learn to trust you. And when they trust you, 
they will be more willing to buy from you. So there you have it, some quick tips to get you started blogging. So if you found this video tutorial helpful and you want to learn more, then I would strongly encourage you to head over to websitesmadeeasy.tv and sign up for more free video tutorials. Inside you're going to find a ton of free content that will show you how to drive traffic to your site, get quality leads, build your audience and make your first dollars online. You'll learn how to properly build out your site to help make more money from it. Each one of my video tutorials has been broken down step by step to make them super easy to follow along to. So it really doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner or whether you're looking to add to your skills. You're going to get superb value through my easy to follow step by step free videos which will help remove the overwhelm and frustration of not knowing what to do or how to do it. Trying to do it yourself when you don't know where to start can set you back months or even years. So make sure you sign up for more free videos at websitesmadeeasy.tv now or you can click the link in the resource box below. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to comment below and make sure you like and share this and I'll see you next time.